Hello everyone, what's going on? Uh, today's video, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna be talking about uh, software security testing. So I'm gonna lay down some uh, theory about this, and then we're gonna immediately move on to the practical side of this. So you may have heard about software security testing, guys. Uh, we know where we have a piece of software that's being developed, uh, programmed, and then this piece of software will be deployed and implemented to be uh, sold to the customers as a solution, you know. So every program you see, every bit of software, whether it's free, open source, uh, commercial, it has gone through many stages, okay, to be uh, from the design, the development, the implementation, testing, uh, all the way to the production and release to the public. So software security testing, guys, is an approach okay to make to just put security as a concern while developing softwares or programs so software security testing guy is all about making sure that the program or the software uh, we are developing is secure enough to prevent flaws uh, exploitations and any kind of um, errors that would um, come along the way while the software is being used by customers or clients. It's embarrassing, you know? So software security testing guys, in a nutshell, there are three methods for testing a, a software for security. We have the front-end testing, we have the end-to-end -end testing, and we have the code testing. So in a nutshell, guys, front-end testing, it is uh, testing the software, okay? It's all about testing the software against, you know, uh, from the front end, like you are the client, you have bought the software and you are now experiencing the use of that software. Consider, for example, a, a, a testing case like uh, input validation, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, um, operational testing, authentication mechanism of an application. So these, all these kind of tests are carried on, or sorry, are implemented, are done from the front end of the program. Okay, like any user, whether the user is malicious or an actual client is experiencing and trying to use the software from the front end. So you are doing the same, okay, as a, de as a, as a developer or as a security consultant when you are testing the software from the front end. So basically, this type of testing, guys, uh, you know, it's focused on some aspect of the security life cycle, uh, but, but it's not comprehensive, okay? Now, the end-to-end -end testing over here, guys, it is the most effective type of software security testing in which complete security assessment is carried, performed to cover a wide range of security controls like the, mentioned, like the aforementioned testing on the front end. In addition, we review the source code, we review security misconfiguration, we review the database running behind the software, we try to... Uh, test the security database, the records, uh, the administration, the, um, you know, just, you know, a comprehensive test from the front end and the back end. Now, the code testing, guys, code testing is, well, it is kind of complete code review. So, for example, you got like thousands of thousands of lines of code for your program. Code testing is all about reviewing this. Okay. Now, in this video, guys, we're going to go through code testing, okay? So how we can achieve code testing? If we have like thousands of thousands of lines of code, how are we gonna test this manually? Well, we have methods to test code, guys. Basically, as you can see here, uh, okay, so here, code review tools. We have many tools, guys, to review security code. Um, one of these tools, guys, as you can see, which we're gonna use in this video is a flow finder. Flow finder, we're gonna use uh, this tool, guys, and try it on a sample code to test uh, the code for vulnerabilities. So you don't need to go through thousands and thousands of lines of the code to see whether the code is vulnerable for like vulnerabilities like buffer overflow, uh, exception handling, um, or let's say SQL injection or cross-site scripting or what, whatever. So all you got to do is to run one of these tools on your code and the code, oh sorry, the tool will 
try to identify the lines of code that would um, raise a vulnerability for your code. I'm not saying that using tools is a comprehensive review for your code. You just got to use the tools as a first line or, uh, or, or early in your testing, okay? And then when the tool identifies the lines of code that are vulnerable, you're going to go through all of these lines manually, okay? And you're going to uh, identify how to fix the errors, how to fix the vulnerabilities. Of course, if you... The other, the other kind of testing is to go through the code, line of codes manually. You cannot achieve this alone. You're gonna have, you need to have uh, a second option or a second security professional or other security professional who stands by your side to review the code manually. So we can review codes using the tools, okay? And we can review the codes manually. So guys, reviewing codes using the tools is called the black box method, okay? So black box is reviewing your code using the automated tools. The white box is reviewing the code manual with your peer security professional. Okay. Now let's jump in to Kali Linux. Okay, guys. And see how we can use Flow Finder to examine the vulnerable code. Now let me switch my uh, display. I think, I think I'm having difficulties showing the other display here, but let me try to delete this from here, remove. Okay, now, all right, okay. So guys, you can download the flow finder, okay, from this link. Let me show the link, or let me clear the screen first. Okay. So, basically, let me show you the link. Let's look for the link, guys. So all you got to do, guys, is um, wget and use this code. I'm going to, uh, sorry, the uh, link. So I'm going to put the link in the video description, guys. Okay. So I have already done this. Now, I also have downloaded a sample code. Let's click on samples and open my vulnerable code. Of course, it's a sample code. It's meant for demonstration purposes. Uh, but the, 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 it's the same for every code, guys. So I have a sample code over here, as you can see, that takes your name and allows access based on specific criteria. So basically, we, what we're gonna do here, okay, we're gonna let Flow Finder go all, through all of the through all of these lines of codes and determine what's wrong here. So after we have extracted the Flow Finder zip file. We can list and the content of the directory, and we can run flow finder, and we can specify the place or the directory where the, our sample code or the uh, target code that's about to be tested, uh, we feed that to the flow finder. So basically, we type root desktop samples. And if you have more than one uh c code all you got to do guys is to place this the file inside the folder okay in which all of your scripts all of your files that are supposed to be tested okay you place them in that place in that directory in that folder and the flow finder will test all of these scripts all these codes but it's better when you are testing for production test one by one it's better for you to so examine the results more thoroughly and deeply so hit enter, and we see the results. It's very fast. As you can see here, 
analysis summary it says hits equal three so when we say when we say hits equal three it means that we have three instances in the code that may have potential vulnerabilities to be expo exploited guys so let's look at this, these three hits the first one so it says in line five okay we have a buffer okay and it says your buffer or your or the function you you have used okay it doesn't check her buffer overflows. So use f gets instead. So as you can see, in every line that the tool doubts or suspects that could, there could be a misconfiguration of a function, library, parameter, or whatsoever, it lists you the line, the number of line, okay? And it lists you what's the wrong, what's wrong with this, and it tells you what to use instead, okay? So, we can we can display more thorough results by examining what uh, what what's the exact vulnerability in every line of code and how we can fix that we fix that so we can run the same command but instead we can run context or no uh, s the switch s and n all right so let's go ahead through our results as you can see here it says in defy sample.c line 6 we have buffer gets and it's, it says doesn't check for buffer overflows use f gets instead okay i got this the second one it says you have used printf and if format strings can be influenced by an attacker they can be exploited use constant for the format specification so for every line so what you have what you have to do guys is you go to the code And let's see here. So it says line six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of gets, I use f gets, for example, as per the recommendation. And the second one, it says if format strings can be influenced, uh, use a constant for the format specification in line number five. Yes, exactly. So here, guys, we have to use. Uh, like a constant or d define a buffer size for this. Now, the third one in line number two, no, I don't think two, three, so it says buffer char statistically, statistically sized arrays can be improperly restricted, leading to potential overflows or other issues. Perform bounds checking. Use function that limit length or ensure that the size is larger than the maximum possible length. Exactly, guys. So any this one over here, the, the, the size of the username should be larger than this size, you know, as per the recommendation, because it can easily be overflowed. So that's the logic of this tool, guys. And as we uh, said, we have many tools to experience. I recommend you run Microsoft um, Static Code Analyzer. It runs on Windows if you are testing your code in Windows. And of course, guys, use this tool not for comprehensive tests, but to identify potential, potential uh, vulnerabilities that may exist in your code. Try to analyze them, fix them, and then you can move to the manual method. All right. Thank you for watching.